Many people are working towards healthier lifestyles, and for some, cutting out or reducing alcohol is a part of it. And so that connection of like alcohol to non-alcohol is really shifting where it's starting to be socially acceptable to go out and not have to drink alcohol. Between 2021 and 2022, Statistics Canada says alcohol sales decreased 1.2 percent, the first decline since 2014. The non-alcoholic drinks market, including soft drinks, brought in roughly $29 billion in 2023 and has an expected growth rate of 3 percent. Many bar owners say the demand for mocktails or non-alcoholic beer have been increasing. Yeah, we've absolutely seen an increase in the demand for, you know, non-alcoholic beer and the mocktails, all that sort of stuff, you know, and we're, we're happy to offer it. Sort of the trend for mocktails and, and all non-alcoholic products has, has been a real growing trend in, in, in pubs for a long time. According to the Canadian Centre on Substance Abuse, a person is recommended to only have two drinks per week and no more than two drinks per day. More people are also looking for beer with lower alcohol content than the normal 5%. We've been offering lower alcohol beer, which is not very common in craft brewing, to be honest, but it's starting to now. So, you know, we started out with a lot of beers at uh, 4%, 4.2%, 45 and, um, you know, you're starting to see even more demand for beers around 3%. Since more and more people are finding benefits in not drinking alcohol, many bars and pubs are promoting it more on their menus. Some provinces like BC and Ontario have even opened their first non-alcoholic bars. Canadians seem to be looking for easier Sundays after a fun Saturday night out. Catherine Ludwig, Global News.